Hey guys, what is going on? It is Weird Gaming Adventure Gospel Edition once again. And there was a call made up here. You'll see it. It is to play the Demon Hunter. You know, and I'm actually down to play uh, different classes, whatever specs. It's just alpha. Uh, right now we can't go into specialized specs, but if you guys have requests, let me know. Leave a comment. I'm down to do it. Uh, I'm down to do pretty much anything. Um, unless that is like talking about my old life. Anyways, let's hop back into it. All right, back at it again. We've got the Demon Hunter here. Um, apparently, no one's made a video on it yet, so we're going to go ahead and do that because I actually looked, and all I saw was like one live stream on YouTube. So we're going to take a look at the Demon Hunter. I have a friend that has already started playing Demon Hunter, and he says it was pretty awesome. He really liked it, and he's someone that actually plays a lot of retail well. So... We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make, we're gonna randomize his appearance here. God, Night Elf men are just goofy looking to me. All right, that looks pretty good. By the way, Demon Hunter is only available to Night Elves right now. Um, they, they might be on Blood Elves. I assume they will be on Blood Elves once they release TBC for this uh, Conquest of Azeroth. But currently only Night Elves can be Demon Hunters because we can't play Blood Elves. So. Uh, first things first, what are our abilities? We've got Felrend, instant, 5 second cooldown, melee range, cleaves enemies within 8 yards of you for 150% weapon damage, generating 5 rage and increasing your dodge chance by 10% for 4 seconds for each enemy struck. Wow, I wonder if that's stacking in uh, dodge chance or stacking in duration. We'll I'll definitely have to check that out. Uh, Illidari Blessing, 2 mana instant cast. 30-yard uh, range, empowers the target ally, increasing their melee attack power against demons by 10 to 12, and dodge chance by 10% for 30 minutes. Wow, that seems really powerful. I guess we'll go ahead and pop that. Then we've got Twin Slice, melee range, instant, 4-second cooldown, requires melee weapon, an instant strike that causes 3 damage in addition to 100% of your normal weapon damage and generates a rage. The first use of this ability will not incur a cooldown. If this ability is used within 5 seconds of Azanoth's assault, which I assume we get later on, right? Um, it will reset the cooldown of an Anna, Anna, Anna Anahilan strike? Uh, sorry, I got Discord on. I'm gonna turn that off. So my guess is they're gonna be agi based, agility based. So we'll go ahead and pick that. Turn in this quest, uh, and then go do uh, what? What weapons are we using here? Let's see. We're using one-handed swords that are called glaives. So I guess we'll pick 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 up these swords here. Um, grab that small pouch and go kill some stuff. Let's take a look at these animations. All right, this is twin slice, not. Not over the top. Oh, hold on. Let me move this rage meter over here. So this is twin slice. It's not, not over the top. Looks, looks about normal. And then we'll come over here to this young thistle boar. We'll use felrend. Okay, that looks pretty slick. I like that. And then obviously you can see the felrend buff up. Well, nope, not anymore. It's gone. All right. So this happens whenever you get full rage. It says you turn into demon form. It says increases all damage done by thirty percent. You also have a twenty to nineteen percent chance to reflect any harmful shadow spells cast on you. You rage depletes extremely quickly while in demon form. Seems pretty sweet, my dudes. Hey guys, something I didn't realize till just now is we also have a passive called Fell Strikes. It says some of your offensive abilities have a chance to trigger a Fell Strike on your target. Your Fell Strikes deal shadow damage based on your agility or intellect, depending on which is higher. Your melee attacks always have a 101% chance to cause a Fell Strike. So that's pretty neat. We have like a, a, a damage passive. It's pretty, pretty nice, pretty useful. All right, we're about to hit level four. Let's see what we get. We've gotten Fell Flame Breath. Eight yard range, instant cast, 16 second cooldown. Breathe Fell Flames in a frontal cone, inflicting six to 10 Shadow Flame damage instantly and another 72 to 102 Shadow Flame damage over six seconds to all enemies caught in the flames. This spell has double the duration when used in demon form. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, that is that is one awesome looking animation. I love it. Look how insane this is. Watch this. Watch this. You guys ready? Boom. And we're just gonna look away. Die, piggy, die. Boom. Dead. One. What? That is insane. That's a crazy dot. I love that. Let's see how it does on this Grelkin when I've got demon form. Oh my gosh. It just burns for so much. It's crazy. That's so good. This is early game powerhouse. Let's see how it goes here. Let's let's see if I can get both of them with this. Oh, it just oh, I love it. This is great. Bye bye. Even though it's uh it's early levels, I you know I played BFA and I played Legion and I main DH in both of them. And honestly, I like this Demon Hunter already at the early levels. Like, this feels awesome. And all the evasion stuff, I guess they kind of had, like, the idea of evasion from, you know, like, retail Demon Hunter. But this stuff feels, I don't know, it just feels better somehow. I, I actually really like it. So, I was looking through the uh, abilities books that, the, that everybody has in their uh, inventory. And it says I've got this uh, this passive called Demon Within, but it's not in my spell book. So this is actually what you actually have. And it makes sense because it says damage taken by 5%. All right, that's pretty nice. I like that. If you reach 100% rage, you will enter demon form for a short time. So this passive is listed, just not in the spell book. All right, so uh, another thing to note is even though I got this green sword, this level 5 green sword, right? You just get this... Like, everyone gets this quest on, on the server. Um, even though it's a sword, it still shows as a war glaive. So these are just, it seems like these are like cosmetically locked as glaives. So it really, I guess, like, enhances that demon hunter, like, flavor. Okay, so we just got uh, level six and I got a new ability. Glaive Rush, dash forward 10 yards through enemies dealing 50% damage consecutive uses of this ability will reduce the distance dashed up to three times. This ability is usable while rooted and will instead teleport you forward if used this way. All right, let's see how this ability is. Okay. All right. We got a buff. Use, recently used Glaive Rush. Oh man, it, <laughs> it basically does anything. Maybe if you were like trying to, I don't know, dance on somebody. You can spam it. It's it's a spammable damage. That's pretty cool. So interesting little thing I just found uh, with this uh, you know glaive rush ability is that if you're num locked or if you're using auto run, if you have auto run you know set to a different uh, key than num lock, and you use it, it stops your num lock. So uh, just keep that in mind when you play this class that this is going to end any auto runs you have. But if you're like me. And you use WASD, or sometimes even use the mouse to move by uh, clicking left and right click. Uh, it doesn't stop that, so that that's continuous. So uh, these webwood lurkers, they actually root. So this ability, Glaive Rush, actually changes when you get rooted. Let me show y'all. Boom, boom, boom. You're gone. You know, um, it's actually like pretty solid. I actually really like this. Like no one, no one's gonna keep you down, dude. No one can keep you down. You're a big, strong, independent uh, demon hunter who don't need no um, CC chain break thing. All right, level seven. Let's see what we got here. We've got Azanoth's Assault, melee range, instant, 30 second cooldown. Assault your target, dealing 250% weapon damage and triggering a fell strike. If used within four seconds of a fell rend, this ability will trigger twice. Wow, that is pretty strong. That did a lot of damage. By the way, the dodge cha chance on uh, Felrend, it, uh, it does stack in uh, increased dodge chance, not duration, so that's pretty good. All right, level eight. What do we get? Illidari rank two. Uh, Illidari blessing rank two. Let's see. Um, increases our attack power against demons even further than it was before. That's pretty, pretty nice. I'll take that. Boom. Level ten. What do we get? Anything? We uh, we actually didn't get anything at level ten. All right. Well, that was interesting. 
Um, <laughs> let me let me just check the spell book. Make sure we really didn't get anything. Uh, maybe I'll even look around in, in these books here. Uh, nope, I've already had all this. Let's see. Anything here? Nope. Nothing at level 10. And one more for good measure. Nope. Everything I had, I already have. So, you know, there'll be more skills as you level up, which is good. Um, again, can't get into uh, specializations till after 30, but the cap in the alpha at the moment is level 30. So... Uh, we can't actually specialize our character. Anyways, that was my first impressions of the Demon Hunter. Having played Demon Hunter on retail, uh, I haven't played Shadowlands, but I did play BFA and I did play Legion. This is very, very different. Um, it, the abilities are different. It, there's, I, I looked through the books. It looks like they get some casting abilities. I'm not sure what that's about. <clears throat> We would probably have to level it a bit to uh, to see those, but uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty healthy class. Very, very strong. Um, I like the demon form, how you go in and out of it um, by, you know, generating rage. Uh, the mobility doesn't seem bad. Um, I'm, I'm glad that they teleport. They they blink when they get, a, they get rooted. Uh, seems like a pretty solid class so far, and I'm looking forward to maybe even maining it coming live. Uh, you know, whenever the, whenever all the testing is done. Anyways, that's my first impressions. Uh, like, subscribe if you want more. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Y'all have a good day now, and I'll see you in the next one.